Let's go. What's up? It's your boy, Lester Sanders, host of my new motivational series, H-O-P-E, helping other people excel. Helping other people Help excel. Other people excel. What's up? It's your boy Lester Sanders here with the very first episode of HOPE, helping other people excel. Your inspiration, motivation, and empowerment outlet for success goal and dream achievement. I'm excited because this dream of mine, this motivational series, what gives me a platform to empower people nationwide and worldwide is now a reality. For this very first episode, I simply want to paint a picture, a picture in a frame, a word picture on the canvas of life, a picture of become the change you see. Many of you are walking around with great ideas of what it is you wanna have, do, or become, and you gotta believe that it's possible. But whenever you set your mind to do something, the most discouraging thing in the world is when they, whoever they are, tell you a list of reasons why it can't happen. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. If you set out to achieve something, there will always be some form of adversity along the way. And with that in mind is why I created this series. All you need is practical, real world strategies on this is how it's done and I'm here to help. Hopefully you figured out by now that success goals and dreams would not just fall into your lap. Check out what Gandhi said. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be or become the change, not anyone else. Too many people got their hands out waiting on the government for their change. Waiting on lotteries, parents, friends, significant others, community, school districts, and institutions of higher learning for their change. And I'm telling you from experience, if you wait only, now the key word is only on external sources, you could be waiting a mighty long time. I would still be waiting if I would not have taken ownership of the change I saw. I'm here to challenge you for real. I challenge you to number one, be your own change agent. Make the decision that you will not wait on anyone else or entity to make the change that needs to take place in your life. Identify what you are not doing for yourself. We must do an honest, sometimes very tough self-evaluation of what we need to do to be prepared for when the doors of change open. Number two, you must identify your why. Yeah, what's your why? Your why or reason for keep going must be greater than your reason for quitting. I lost a cousin to street violence when I was in sixth grade. And out of that, I never wanted my mom to experience the pain of bearing her only son. So that became my why for being with the right people and only being in the right places and taking charge of my future. Number three, you must take action daily for your change. You will only reap what you sow. If you don't plant the seeds of change, change won't grow or be your reality. I promise you, your change will come if you don't give up. Be the change you want to see in the world. Gandhi said, first they'll ignore you, then they will laugh at you, then they will fight you, and then you'll win. Yes, you will win. Martin Luther King Jr.'s change came to pass. Steve Jobs got his change. Oprah got her change. Walt Disney got his change. LeBron James got his change, and now he's trying to get some more change. And there was this little boy who was raised in a single parent impoverished home, who failed second grade, who wasn't supposed to make it. By the age of 25, I was supposed to be in a box, a jail cell or a casket. But because I became the change that I saw, is now a Kent McKinley High School graduate, a Kent State University alumni, a husband, a father, a humanitarian and a youth development professional who travels throughout America empowering young people and soon the world, yes, that little boy got his change. And your change is waiting on you. Will you become the change that you see? I'm out of time, but certainly not out of message. It's your boy Lester Sanders on a mission of helping other people excel, reminding you in the words of Langston Hughes, Hold fast to dreams, so if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, so when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. Until next time, become the change you see.